which is an independent stamping up demonstrator in southern Tasmania. Uh, thanks for everyone who joins me live today and everyone who's watching on the replay later on either Facebook or YouTube. Great to have you with me today. Just a, a really quick card today just for a, a mid-week mid wonder so to speak um, just to sort of uh, get my uh, get my um, addiction fed just for the week. So uh, just a, a quick one, a couple of things before I start, just bear with me, I'm actually just uh, making sure that my iPad is up where it's supposed to be so I can see all your lovely comments and things come through and as people jump on, doesn't seem to want to do anything for me at the moment. The way Facebook is set up, you have to scroll through a million things before you actually find what you're after. Oh, there we are. There we are. We've started and we've got a few people on too, which is lovely. Uh, just uh, pop on, tell me where you're from. If it's your first time, please tell me so and how you found me. That would be lovely as well. A um, couple of things. Oh, I'm a little bit crooked there. I must have bumped that when I was playing with my iPad. Anyway, uh, I can see a few people on. Dawn, hey, hey Dawn and Deb. Hey, Debbie. Um, just a couple of things before we start. I have, uh, starting from this month, introduced my um, FunFold VIP class. For those of you who don't know, every month I put out a FunFold class, which is basically just a, it's got to be called a few things now. It's a FunFold sentiment only um, class. So basically, if you purchase this class, you get everything in the kit that you need to make three cards, and all you have to add is your own adhesives and sentiments. So it, they tend to be cards heavily based on fun folds, on designer series paper, all that sort of thing. Um, and, and really, you don't have to have a particular stamping up product for it. So it's a really popular class and it's so popular because people do them month after month after month. I thought I would re reward the regular um, uh, uh, participants by bringing in this FunFold VIP class. So basically, if you pay for five classes up front, you get the sixth class free, but you also get a 10% discount on the five that you've paid for. So rather than paying $25 per month, you pay $22.50 per month. So it's a total of $112.50 up front, which basically gets you six months worth of classes where basically you just sit and wait for the postman every month and he will bring you your FunFold class. So that comes with a tutorial video and a complimentary Zoom at the end of the month. We get together and make our cards together. If you're a socially minded crafter, we can do that as well. Anyway, so that's the, um, the, the club. It's just started up. You can join at any time. There are a few terms and conditions about um, um, suspending um, the class or, or that sort of thing but that's all on my Facebook page if you'd like to have a look at that. So Australian customers only unfortunately. Speaking of FunFold, this is my FunFold class for um, April. So I've currently got this one um, advertised. Um, you've got three cards there as I said to you. They are, as I said, you can see there they are basically very much either fun fold or designer series paper based cards and all you will need is your um, your adhesives and your sentiments. So I'll give you all the sentiment boxes, all the little die cuts, all the cut and scored designer series paper and card stock. So we've got a cute little double diamond um, book easel there so that one's really cute with the um, sweet talk paper really nice we've got a um, fold back pop-up card there with the daisies and the um, beautiful pansy paper so that one's really nice as well so basically all you need is the sentiments there and the and the glue you get everything else and you've got another one here as I say based fairly heavily around the beautiful tulip flowing flower, uh, flowering tulip paper as well so all you need again is a sentiment and some um, foam squares and glue so that's the three cards for this month um, if you're interested pop over to my Facebook page or send me an email with the email address that's on my YouTube channel and I can um, put you on the list for that one. Um, and I say, you start the VIP club, you might as well jump on board um, now and save all that money and effort. Okay, so the card I'm going to make today, I think that's all the self-promotion I have to do today. A couple of reminder things with sales and things happening at the moment, but as I say, if you pop over to my Facebook page, I have pretty much got every sale opportunity um, posted there as well. So we're going to be making a this is a, a variation of my favourite 
card. As you know, guys, I, I do quite a few bookbind cards and this is another one, but it's a slight variation on, on a theme. It's actually a bookbind card, so it has the, the spine there with the little ribbon sort of trapped in there. But the front has been cut into a triangle. So you've got that little sort of suspended um, square there where your, your um, front decoration and sentiment are. So when it sits up, if you can imagine, it sits up a little bit like that and it's just a tiny bit different to um, to the standard book bind. And then you open it up, it's quite unusual because you've got what's left of the triangle from the front um, and your little uh, white square for for your uh, personal message inside there. So yeah, that's a really sweet little one. I saw that one on Pinterest and I thought, hmm, I have to get that one, give that a go. So I've also seen book bind cards where they actually put like a um, a fun fold on the inside as well. So we may give that a go as well. We might make it our book binding fold card um, focus for a week or something somewhere in the future. But anyway, we'll give this one a little go. Um, this one's really bright. When I looked at it, I thought, oh my goodness, this is such a bright card. And it's really nice though. I quite like it. So this is again the Flowering Tulips Designer Series paper. So that's really, really nice. Lovely brights. It's got lots of, lots of poppy parade and um, pumpkin pie and all those sort of beautiful bright sort of tulip colours. I've gone with the white tulip on the front and that's using the tulip dyes there as well. So I've just cut a little white tulip to bring out the white tulips from the designer series paper. And um, yeah, and a little, um, this is the punch, the ovals punch, double ovals punch there with the little love you sentiment on there. And that sentiment love you is from the plentiful plant. So it's a little bit of everything this one. Don't worry too much about the products and the measurements. I'll pop them all up um, on my site after I've finished the the video I'll spend a couple of uh, uh, a couple of minutes on the computer and pop all those in so and they are a little wee bit complicated the, in the measurements so don't worry too much so the card I'm going to make for you today is that cut but I've swapped over to what seems to be my favorite paper at the moment <clears throat> I'm using the excuse me I'll have a bit of cough a dry throat to have a drink of water um, I've swapped over to the and don't mind you're all going to moan I know um, to the symbols of fortune paper because I have got so much of it I just want to use it all up I'm not into wasting paper just excuse me while I have a drink dry, dry throat today so anyway yes so moan moan away but I am bringing out the symbols of fortune paper again this time again with the soft succulent um, uh, uh, contrast colour <clears throat> but this time instead of white I'm actually using the crumb cake as the card base so as with our normal um, what are we called uh, book bind cards we've got a 11 inch long card base it's four inches wide and it's been scored at four and a half uh, no, at four and five and a half inches so that's where we get our little spine there just like that okay so we'll do that so then I've also got just like a normal book bind, I've got the little panel to go on the spine itself. And then I've got a panel of the beautiful paper that I absolutely adore and I do not want to waste. So that's why you're getting lots. I'm going to do a thank you card. We've got a, a swap over at my card making group at the moment and we're doing thank you cards. So this one will be a thank you card and somebody will get it in the swap. I'm going to use the soft succulent um, in colour ribbon for the ribbon part of this book bind card. So that goes really nicely with the paper as well, as you can see. So let's have a look. So we might as well get this one started and then I can tell you about how we make the triangle. So we've got our normal book bind card there. So what you need to do is grab your trimmer and from the top to the top corner to the bottom top left hand corner to the bottom right hand corner you need to cut out a triangle so I don't know how it would go if you cut the other way probably just as nice maybe you might not sit up quite as nice if you did the other corner we're just going to cut that that moved a wee bit but I think it's okay cut that corner straight off like that so that's that's our little peekaboo corner there and I'll keep my trimmer out because these panels of designer series paper and 
cardstock that would normally sit on the front of our normal bookbind card, they have to be cut in half as well. So this one is uh, a quarter of an inch smaller, so it's three and three quarters square. And we need to just cut that from diagonally from one corner to the next. And our paper is an eighth of an inch smaller again, so that would be three and five eighths square. And we need to cut that from corner to corner as well. Now I find it if I started my trimmer up here and brought it down, it might flat, um, blunt the end of my little triangle that I'm trying to cut to create. So I find the best way to cut really sharp triangles is to actually start in the body of the paper itself and work backwards. So you, you're coming at it from inside rather than from the outside down and that leaves nice sharp little triangles there. I think that's all I'm cutting at the moment. I might just pop my trimmer down on the floor. Forgive the crunch. And so we've got lots and lots and lots of little triangles now. So what we're going to do is we're going to have one triangle of um, soft succulent on the outside with a comparable triangle of paper just like that. I'll get it straight when I'm gluing it down and then the other one comes in from the top corner with its little piece of paper as well. So that's how you get that cross sort of look happening. But we'll take those away at the moment. We might as well start actually popping our card together. So Deb, you're saying you've put, you <laughs> you purchased the daisy punches. Good. I had a, I don't know if Nicole's on. Nicole Andrews is part of my team. She might not be on. She's got her hands full with a house full of children. Um, yeah, so she tried to get the tailored tag punch this morning and it was gone. So obviously everybody uh, wants that one before it retires. But I'm glad you got the, um, I'm glad you got the daisies, Deb. So, yes, don't know what we're going to do without our favourite punches. Hopefully there's something that's going to take their place as a worthy replacement. I'm sure there will. Okay, so we'll pop that on there. So this is just our little spine. getting that straight thankfully the glue lets me have a little bit of wriggle room so what I'll do now is grab my snail adhesive and I will seal that little spine closed as usual grab my ribbon here we be I just, uh, just um, what's the word, binged the whole season of Bridgerton on uh, Netflix. I don't know if anyone else has been watching it. I quite enjoyed it. Did realise that it was just basically a, um, a rewriting of uh, Taming of the Shrew, but, you know, that's okay. There's only so many ideas out there, but I did enjoy it. I wonder if anyone else has watched anything interesting on the old box that uh, that they've got any they'd like to share I am now looking for a new series if anyone has any suggestions now that I've finished Bridgerton not that it took me very long I think I binged it over about three or four nights but you know it was only eight eight episodes in my um in my defense didn't really take that much binging but uh, I liked the emphasis on the other members of the family which was nice if you've ever watched the Bridgerton season series there's seven eight children I think. We've got to see a bit more of the others this time. So now I'm going to pop our rect our triangles on. So this is our on our crumb cake uh, card base and I've got a triangle of soft succulent. I'm trying to, it's a bit hard with the uh, colour 
tone on tone of the soft succulent, but I'm trying to keep those sort of even now. There we are. So that's our first triangle of soft succulent. Then I'm going to bring in my designer series. But I might do the other soft succulent first and I'll get them at least even. So I've got an even base to work on. Pop that one there. Yeah. Now it's a little bit tricky with this because you actually have to make sure that you've got it even or, or sort of straight on the top and the side but you also have to make sure that it, the two centres, like the centres sort of look like they match up as well and obviously they should because they're all from the same square but sometimes I think I've actually got that bottom one a little bit crooked so Anyway, that's okay. It's not too bad. Only I would notice that. And now we'll bring in our paper. There. The paper has a much smaller gap around it. It's obviously quite close to the size of our soft succulent square there we are. and the paper you've still got well they were saying you're going to have margie's just said she's on the very wet 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 north um new south wales coast and they've had lots of rain lots of flooding and lots of evacuations it's been quite horrible i can imagine margie I don't if they say you get any relief anytime soon they're forecasting that. I know the rain pattern's going to last, they say, all the way through to the end of autumn, but just a little bit of respite in between would be nice, I'm sure. Strangely, we haven't got any of it. Usually we get the tail end of all the storms that come through, but uh, down here in Tassie we haven't got much rain happening at all, which is very strange. It's very dry. It's a shame we can't ship it between each other and... and um, and uh, solve both our problems so there we are we have our little triangles in there as well so now and i'm going to do that ribbon but i'll do the ribbon after so we've got that's a say normal sort of book bind card but with the, the the triangle cut out so here i have a couple of squares of um, soft saffron and another square of our designer series paper so that's like a more contrasty color or a, a more um, sort of tone on tone color and then we've got another one with a white panel that we're going to pop inside. So I'll pop both of those on. I think the triangles of soft succulent were two and three quarters square. So the paper was just an eighth of an inch smaller. So this one is for inside, obviously, for our personal message. And this one's going to be decorated on the front. So pretty the other side of this paper. I haven't actually used much of it because I got fell in love with the butterflies on this one. But I do love the gold and the grey as well. So we'll pop that one there. So the idea with these is that the decorated one or the designer series paper one is going to sit on the front of our little um, triangle. So obviously only with glue on the bottom sort of half. And then the little white one is going to sit in and behind there so they're supposed to basically be in exactly the same space so that when you close it you don't see the white one behind so you only see it when you open up so I think probably the best thing to do would be put the front one on first I don't know I did it slightly different in the first one it was a little bit tricky so I've put the white one on oh hang on what did you just say Julianne glue on the bottom corner half so just on that bit there and we will just line that up so lining up the corners with the edges of your triangle will ensure that the that the um 
that the, the triangle, that the square is in the right place. So that corner and that corner lined up with the edges of the cardstock. So there, just like that. Okay, then we're going to bring in our little sentiment box or personal message box and pop that in there as well. So ooh, obviously that glue's just dripped everywhere. So we want to pop it so that you don't see it at all when the card is closed. So thankfully the glue will let me move that a wee bit to the right spot. In you go a wee bit more. Come on, don't stop moving now. Yep, that's it. There you go. So there's the front and there's the inside. Okay, so uh, again, free to, um, true to form, I have di um, uh, fussy cut the beautiful flower from the designer series paper. I'm just about running out of that, so I might have to buy some more. Although I think I've probably used enough of it, I don't really need to use any more. So we've got the the main little flower there with the leaves and the and the stem, and then I've got the plain little just flower on its own. So I'm actually going to pop that one in behind there just to give it a, a more full look. As a, as a bunch of flowers, just give it that sort of more rounded look. And I'm just going to pop that straight on to the front like that. And it's going to take up most of that little square, but I don't think that's too much of a problem. It's, uh, you can think of worse things to be filled with than that beautiful image there. So I'll pop those on. My husband's making leaving noises in the background so he may come in and say goodbye in a minute or he may just leave depending on how busy he thinks I am there we are so there we are that's the decoration for the front that's just so pretty there we are okay so uh, as I say I have the um the double punch I haven't used it very much so it's not much so I have much I can't remember what it's called the double oval punch so we get one that's a serrated oval and then you get one little round non-serrated oval that fits perfectly on the inside as I said this is going to be a thank you card and the thank you I'm going to use is from the art gallery suite nice little thank you that's just sort of fits perfectly in that little oval there um, this one is continuing in the next catalogue so that's really wonderful so we won't lose that particular the, the sentiments in that one are just so they're so good in the fact that they are they're just classic and plant there's no flurry or flourish to them at all they're just yeah they're just if you want something that's just you know not overbearing you you can use these ones which is really lovely so yeah as I say continuing and it's a very handy little set and it looks like he's just gone could have come and said goodbye to us. Okay, so here's the little thank you out of it. Just there. And it fits, as you, as, you, as I said, fits just about perfectly in the middle of that little oval. Oop. I had one end slightly inked up a little bit heavy, but that's okay. Okay, so there's our little thank you. Oh, so I'll pop that onto our little highlight oval and I am going to bring in the dimensionals for this. Oh, it moved. Okay, and I'm going to pop that, <clears throat> excuse me, half on and half off our little um, our little um a flower a little decorated flower sort of like the way I did with the love you on that one so I'll just grab a couple of dimensionals it's obviously going to be suspended in midair at the end there so the dimensionals will only go sort of halfway along hopefully I haven't put that last one too far There we are. That's sweet. That's really nice. Nice quick little thank you card, that one. It's a little bit different to normal. 
um, some bling. Now, the in colour jewels, the 2021 23 in colour jewels, are also on special at the moment. They're usually about $12 or so, and they are down to $9.80. So um, if you're keen on stocking up on those, please do so. The in colours, they're just, they are the blingiest thing you've ever seen in your life and they're just so pretty. I might have to get a few to use for my own personal card making because they are so sweet. Um, I'm going to use the, oh, haven't got many of them left. I'm going to use the soft succulent ones, obviously. Well, not obviously, but I am. Now I'll pop those around various places I didn't I can't, no point looking at the other card for guidance because I didn't actually put them on the other card just want a little one for on my sentiment and so three because I'm running out I don't want to run out completely I'll pop one up here there we are so just three little sentimenty blingy things there as well just to just show that off and finally my ribbon I hadn't forgotten well I'd sort of it had slipped my mind just with our lovely in color soft succulent ribbon this ribbon is continuing thankfully so I won't have to stop using it so it comes in the three or five in color current in color colors and it's just lovely it just even a bow tragic like me or can get a decent bow out of it which is good if he says hoping not to make a liar of herself no let's see decent bow even with all thumbs like me okay and i'll trim that off that one's a little bit long Here we are. Oh, my scissors have got a bit of glue on them. They're not cutting cleanly as they usually do. Give them a clean off with some orange oil. Here we are. Done. Done like a dinner. There you go. There's my bookbind triangle fold card. Hope you like that one. Um, thank you for your kind words, Lynn. Very pretty, beautiful card. Oh, awesome. Thank you, guys. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I'm sort of, uh, yeah, I really love that whole that whole design actually is really nice. And that paper is, oh, there's dimension on the back of that one. The paper is, is glorious. And if you want something a little bit brighter, obviously, you've got your flowering tulips there as well. So, um, yeah, so that's really, really nice. And that's all I really wanted to show you today. Hopefully you've enjoyed that one. I can get on with my Wednesday. I've got uh, kits to cut and uh, housework to do. And I've got to go and visit my parents, make sure they're all still going strong. So um, get on with the rest of my day. But anyway, have a great rest of your week. I will um, catch you all at the weekend for my normal Saturday morning. Haven't worked out what I'm going to do yet. And uh, if you uh, didn't see the beginning of the video, go over to my Facebook page and check out my Funfold Stamp Club, uh, VIP Funfold Club, and the current VIP, uh, current, current Funfold cards are there as well. So, yeah, taking orders for this one now through to the 10th of April. So if you'd like to jump on with that one, please do. Um, yeah, so anyway, for any special offers and things that are happening in Stamping Up, please head over to my Facebook page. Everything is there. But anyway, there are our cards for today. Thanks for joining me and I will chat to you all again later.